Hey everyone, welcome back to Story For You, where we dive deep into fascinating tales from history, science, and beyond. Today, we're traveling back tens of thousands of years to uncover one of Earth's most legendary predators, the dire wolf. But this isn't just any dire wolf story. Today, we'll explore how these colossal creatures lived, thrived, and eventually vanished, leaving behind only bones and whispers of their legacy. If you've ever been curious about the real-life counterparts to Game of Thrones Ghost or wondered what made these ancient wolves so formidable, stick around. By the end of this video, you'll know more about these majestic beasts than most people ever will. So, let's start at the beginning. What exactly were dire wolves? These weren't just oversized versions of modern grey wolves. They were an entirely separate species known as Canis dirus. They roamed North America during the late Pleistocene Epoch, roughly 125,000 to 9,500 years ago. That's right, they coexisted with mammoths, saber-toothed cats, and even early humans. Now, here's the kicker, dire wolves were massive. Imagine a wolf standing nearly 3 feet tall at the shoulder, weighing up to 150 pounds. That's about 25% heavier than the largest grey wolves alive today. Their skulls were broader, their teeth sharper, and their jaws stronger, perfectly adapted for crushing bone. Scientists believe they hunted in packs, taking down large prey like bison, horses, and even young mastodons. But despite their fearsome reputation, dire wolves weren't invincible. In fact, recent discoveries have revealed some surprising truths about their lives and deaths. Thanks to advancements in DNA analysis, researchers have uncovered some groundbreaking insights about dire wolves. For decades, scientists assumed that dire wolves were closely related to modern grey wolves. But a 2021 study published in Nature shattered that assumption. It turns out that dire wolves split off from other canid lineages over 5 million years ago. This means they weren't direct ancestors of today's wolves, but rather distant cousins who followed their own evolutionary path. Here's something even crazier. Because of this genetic divergence, dire wolves couldn't interbreed with other wolf species, even if they tried. So unlike lions and tigers producing ligers, or dogs and wolves creating hybrids, dire wolves remained genetically isolated throughout their existence. This isolation might explain why they went extinct while grey wolves survived. When environmental changes hit, like the Ice Age ending and prey populations declining, dire wolves didn't have the adaptability or resilience of their relatives. Instead, they disappeared forever, leaving behind fossils scattered across North America. Now, let's talk about pop culture. Thanks to shows like Game of Thrones and movies like The Grey, dire wolves are often portrayed as mythical, almost supernatural creatures. And sure, they were impressive hunters, but they weren't monsters. For example, there's no evidence that dire wolves attacked humans regularly. If anything, they probably avoided us altogether. Early human tribes may have encountered them occasionally, but dire wolves primarily stuck to hunting big game on grasslands and plains. Still, their size and power make them easy to mythologize. Can you imagine seeing a pack of these giants charging across an open field? It must have been both terrifying and awe-inspiring, a true testament to nature's raw beauty. So, what ultimately led to the dire wolf's downfall? Experts point to several factors. First, climate change played a huge role. As glaciers melted and forests replaced grasslands, many of the large herbivores dire wolves relied on disappeared. Without enough food, their populations dwindled. Second, competition from other predators, like saber-toothed cats and humans, likely put additional pressure on them. Unlike grey wolves, which could scavenge or adapt to smaller prey, dire wolves seemed locked into a specific ecological niche. Once that niche collapsed, so did they. It's a sobering reminder of how fragile ecosystems can be, and how quickly even apex predators can vanish when conditions shift. And there you have it, the rise and fall of the dire wolf. From their dominance in prehistoric landscapes to their tragic extinction, these animals remind us of nature's incredible complexity and fragility. 
If you enjoyed this journey through time, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to story for you for more stories like this one. Let me know in the comments, what extinct animal should we explore next? Saber-toothed cats, woolly mammoths, or maybe something even stranger. Until then, keep exploring, stay curious, and remember, every fossil has a story waiting to be told. See you in the next one.